Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is: Calculate the amount and the compound interest on rupees five thousand in two years when the rate of interest for successive years is six percent and eight percent respectively. So this is the question, and I solved this. So this question I will do with a simple interest formula. So for this question, it is given that for the first year the rate of interest will be six percent and uh, for second year the rate of interest will be eight percent. So let's start. So first we write. Now for first year, principal will be equal to principal means rupees five thousand. Rate will be equal to six percent for first year, and time will be equal to first year means only one year. So therefore, right now, that the SI for first year. CSI for first year formula is PRT by hundred. That means principal into rate into hundred time by hundred. So put the values. That is five thousand into six into one by hundred. So first we got the zeros. So now it means fifty into six, which will be become rupees three hundred. So therefore this is the interest for the first year. So now I write and D. Therefore. The amount at the end of first year will be equal to. So that means the amount that is standing after first year. That means after adding the SI to the principal, what will be the amount? So that will principal plus SI. Principal is five thousand plus SI that is three hundred. So it may it becomes rupees five thousand three hundred. So therefore, this is the amount at the end of the first year. So now I have to find out the interest for the second year. So for that, we write for second year principal will be equal to rupees. Now the amount that is at the end of first year, that is five thousand three hundred, will become the principal for the second year. So principal for second year becomes rupees five thousand three hundred. Rate will be equal to as in the question is given that eight percent for second year. So rate will be equal to eight percent. Time will be equal to second year one year. So now, therefore, right? SI for second year will be equal same formula PRT by hundred principal into rate into time by hundred. So I put the values by hundred. So we cut the zeros. So now it becomes fifty three into eight, which will be equal to rupees. So it becomes four hundred twenty four. So therefore, this is the interest for the second year. So now I write the amount at the end of the second year. Second year, it will be equal to. Principal plus SI same formula by so now principal will be equal to five three zero zero plus the SI that is four hundred twenty four so it becomes rupees five seven two four so therefore this is the amount at the end of the second year so now our last part is we have to find out the compound interest so therefore right compound interest will be equal to The formula is amount minus the original principal. That means the principal from which we start the question. So amount is five seven two four minus the original principal. That it is five thousand. So that will be equal to rupees seven hundred twenty four. So therefore our amount is five five thousand seven hundred twenty four and our compound interest is seven hundred twenty four. So this is our final answer for this question. So guys, thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solutions.